All right, welcome back. This is Adrian. I got another quick tutorial video that I want to make for you today that's going to really help you guys out in terms of setting up and using the content aware tool. So let me just show you how that works. Let's pull open Photoshop. I'm just going to pick a random image. These are some ones that I've been working on over the last recent weeks. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this and we're going to close out this. We're going to close the tab group out. Perfect. So let's just look at the some of this image. I think there's some areas in here that we can improve this image on. All right, let's just do the first one here on this right corner. See, this is a great photo. Um, but one of the things that I've noticed is there's just a few blemishes that we could fix to really help the photo look even better. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your marquee tool. You're actually it's considered the polygon lasso tool. Your marquee tool is right here, but you're going to grab your polygon lasso tool and you're going to create a marquee. But let me just show you here. You're going to click outside the box. I'm going to click right here. Just click around the corner. And then I'm going to click and close that loop. Notice how the circle pops up there. We're going to click and close that. Now we're going to go over to our layers. Okay. You're going to hold down Alt or Option. You're going to double click and it's going to unlock it. Okay. If you notice that, it unlocks it. You hold it and that little lock goes away. So now this is an open layer. What I'm going to do is minimize this out. I'm going to roll over this now. See how this little box comes up? There's a little marquee now. See, you're going to actually double click or right click or double click. And it's going to pop up a dialog box like this. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to hit fill. When you go to fill, usually the default is going to be content aware. You can add color, foreground color, background color. But what we're going to do today is content aware. So you use content aware, 100% opacity. You don't need to change anything. And you're just going to hit OK. Boom. Now, if I hit Command D or Control D, I can remove the marquee. And you can see there that image is now gone. So I'm not done yet. I want to do something a little more complicated. So let's go in here because I want to make sure that you know how to do this the right way. We're going to go in here. We're actually going to grab something a little bit more complicated like this image. I want to remove this lady from right out above her jar. So what I need to do is I need to break this into smaller sections. So we're going to go grab this here, 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 here. We're going to click all the way around. Okay. We're going to grab her hair and we're just going to start with her head first. Okay. Now we're going to click going to hit fill and this doesn't always work but most of the time it works really really well we're going to hit OK and boom it got rid of that there now what I want to do again is I'm going to grab her shoulders grab this here go all the way around try and keep it straight there we go and I'm going to do the same thing double click hit fill and see that didn't work really work so well I'm going to what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to actually have to adjust this a little bit we're going to hit fill let's see if we can do Maybe not color adaptation. That didn't really work too well either. Let's see here. So what we need to do is we're going to swap this color. We're going to use the stamp tool, which I wasn't planning on showing you, but the content aware tool doesn't always work for complicated images. So you need to be able to know how to work around that. So there's the stamp clone stamp tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make my brush smaller. I'm going to go grab it here. I'm going to hit alt. I'm going to select a, a spot and then I'm going to just going to just click just like a paintbrush tool. I'm going to click and just drag right over it right here. So you can see here, actually, <clears throat> there we go. I'm going to click and drag. Oops, let's get rid of that here. And it's trying to bring in some of the, another swap. Boom, 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 boom. So you can see that here, another swap. Boom. And we know we're going to need that little stem on there. So we'll just leave that there. Now we're going to need to do the same thing for this bottom section. So we're going to grab that polygon lasso tool again. We're going to grab her and go all the way around her. And since her plant pants are black, I'm just going to mix. I'm going to miss those. I'm just going to go all the way around here. Keep this very simple right there. I'm going to grab it, make a circle. And then we're going to hit right click. We're going to fill it content aware. Just hit color adaptation again. Hit OK. Boom. And you can see here, this doesn't actually look 100% accurate um, of what I would like it to look. You can tell she's no longer there, right? Because it actually pulled, looks like some of the door or maybe some of the table below it. It's swapping some of the area around it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab this, grab this whole section here, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit double click. I'm going to layer via copy. So now I've copied that layer. You can see here, it's right here. I can click and I can drag it over and I can put that right there. And then I can even copy it again, Command J, and make a duplicate of it. And do that same thing here. If I want to, I could flip it horizontally. We're going to move that like right there. I can move it down a little bit more. There we go. I want it to look realistic. So I'm going to 
trying to do this the right whoops trying to do this the right way there we go <coughs> there we go so you can see here this lady is no longer here now if I condense these all command E select them all and then command E makes it all one layer now you can see the original image there's no lady in it anymore and because the image is really small here I wasn't working with a high resolution image I was working with a web image I could do more with it if I had the full res image well, this just came from a cell phone and it was sent through Facebook so this wasn't a high res image but you can see the lady is no longer in, in there I got no longer that blemish right there everything looks really really clean and then here's just another cool cool tool that you can use you know how these blue these beautiful flowers look back here it's really great I showed you the stamp tool which is a little bonus that I wasn't planning on it because I thought the image would come out easily but if we go back to our stamp tool if we can just find it here where the heck did it go I must have oh there it is see sometimes it's hard to find if I can actually take this now I can make this larger okay I can swap I'm on the stamp I'm gonna hit alt okay now you'll notice I can do the same thing I can go up here and probably make it smaller that one didn't really work too well so let me just go grab one of these there we go and I can go right here I can go right here whoops that didn't work I gotta swap it again you're gonna have to do this each time go right here in fact let me grab some of these put those right there and you can see I can make this really beautiful it just adds a nice little effect look at the color of the pop in that tree behind her there or in the bush I should say so this is what I would show you I wanted to show you is a stamp tool but also the content aware tool Content aware tool is really useful. If I had some sort of issue or some sort of spot on here, uh, let's just say I wanted to get rid of, in fact, we'll do this, do this. I wanna get rid of these berries real fast. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna hit fill, hit content aware, and boom, look at that. No more berries. Really useful tool. I've removed strollers and people and all kinds of stuff. It's really helpful to be able to have this. So hopefully that helps you and then you can just save the image. Um, but that's all I got for you today. So that is the content aware tool. Thank you. Have a great day.